Hey Warriors, it's great to see you all back here on the Warrior Weekly. I'm Scotty Sabota, coming at you from the comfort of my home. And I'm Holden Sikas. This is our first show of the semester as things have been a little delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic that's changing the world as we know it. We are now in our second week of distance learning and we hope it's going okay for you all. We and the rest of the dedicated staff here at the Warrior Weekly will do our best to keep you informed and entertained as we try to bring a little bit of Rainer High School to you at home. Let's check in with Principal Rusk for a quick message. Hey Brainerd Warriors, this is Principal Russ checking in with you to see how you're doing as we enter into week two of distance learning. First, let me tell you how proud I am. We did a great job last week connecting and you did a great job logging into your classes and touching base with your teachers. Now, if it wasn't a fantastic week for you and you are struggling, make sure that you connect with your teachers. They are here to help. They wanna hear from you and uh, we need you to be honest with them. If you're struggling, you can't figure something out, or maybe you even just need some more time as you're working through distance learning. It's new for most of us. Second, some of you have contacted me to see, can I still get in the school to pick up materials? You can. The school is technically closed, but you can come in through the main doors at BHS, and that's for South Campus students as well, and you can pick up your items and uh, know that we have them here, whether it's a fire locker, or our project, or uh, maybe the items from your locker. So know that, that you can come in and get those items. Finally, um, this goes out to our seniors. Uh, we are in the midst of starting the planning for senior celebrations, senior celebrations during this very unique and historic time. We are going to be planning some unique ways that we celebrate seniors. And uh, please note that as of right now, we are not canceling anything. We are postponing and things may look different as we celebrate you seniors, but know that we are um, thinking about you and uh, we wanna make sure that we celebrate you. So for all of you out there, make sure that you be safe, stay at home, and please continue to log in with your teachers and connect in your Google Classrooms because uh, we really miss you here at BHS. All right, have a great week. Thank you, Ms. Rusk, for that update. Well, we all know that we need to stay healthy and safe, and that means stay at home. Here's our junior Warrior Weekly reporter and my little brother, Ren, with all the details. Hi, I'm Ren. Today I'm going to do Healthy Healthy. 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 And don't spit. When, when your ABCs are done, then you're done washing your hands. You can't, the dog should be away from people. You can't hug, you can't kiss, you can't touch. Thanks a lot, great job, Ren. In other news, the Key Club had to move its spring blood drive this year, but had good success in collecting blood. On, back on March 24, 64 pints of blood were collected by the Red Cross and volunteers. Chairpersons Nicole Benson, L. Young, and Devin Knopf organized donor sign-up back when school was still in session. The drive held at Lakewood Church in Baxter was also open to the public. Key Club officers Lauren and Julia Goralski were instrumental in making the day a success. $1,000 in scholarships will be awarded to this year's Key Club seniors who have helped with the fall, spring, and summer drives. The next drive is scheduled for June 4th at Riverside Elementary and is open to the public. Those in interested in donating can sign up at the Red Cross website or contact Ms. Vandepody. Great job, Key Club. Hey, Warriors, how have you been spending your time at home? Here's how a couple Warrior Weekly staffers are making it through the quarantine. Here's Cade Vilwak and Brandon Johnson. I'm Cade Vilwak, and I'm here with the Warrior Weekly giving you fun ideas to do during this time at home. The first thing you could do 
during this time at home is maybe start the morning off right with a walk or a run. Another thing you can do outside is just set out a lawn chair and enjoy the sunshine. All right, now I'm gonna head inside and show you a couple activities you can do indoors during Good this time. time at home. So watch some Netflix, or maybe even take a nap if you want to. I'm Cade Villock, and those are just a few things you can do during this time at home. Hey guys, Brando Zephyr Fishing here, and I'm back with another little different video because there's a little bit different circumstances that we're all in kind of a self-quarantine, but I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do each day um, because of this self quarantine. I hope it's funny. If you guys like the video, subscribe and don't forget to share the video. Thanks. Catch you later. I don't know about you, but I'm bringing back bottle flipping. Seven, eight, nine. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a self-quarantine baller, if you know what I mean. This one's for you, COVID-19. Get out of here. I don't know about you guys, but I have to stay in shape to beat this coronavirus if I get it. What I like to do during this hard time is practice flipping in the house with some low ceilings. Are you talking to yourself? I'm talking to the camera. Where? Right there. And I know a lot of guys out there who love their video games when we're bored. And, yeah, this is what I like to do. I lasered them. I lasered them with the P90s. Yup. Do you have any armor plates? Armor plates? Oh, I got not from the top of the roof. But I have self revive. Let's go. There's way too many hours in the day not to get yourself a nap. Five hours later. You gotta do whatever you can to make the best of each day. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break, but stick around. We'll be right back with a quick update from Activities Director Mr. Campbell, this week's teacher feature, our TGIT, and more. Right. Camera. Action. Live on camera two. Hey, I'm David Azuela, and I'm Marcus Yoni, and we're with the Warrior Weekly. So I really like 
teaching welding classes because students are really engaged. They absolutely love working with their hands. Uh, welding is a career you can get into. You get some training uh, right now in high school or right after you graduate, go right to, right to a job, get work on or hands-on work training. Uh, the American Welding Society is predicting close to 400,000 jobs opening up in the next three years. So the future is really bright for welders. Uh, it's a good career field. It's originally what I wanted to get into right after high school. So come check out the welding program. The school isn't completely empty. Administrators and other staff are practicing social distancing while doing their jobs at BHS. Also construction workers. While you're at home taking classes, great progress is being made with our school remodel project. Hey, Brainerd High School Warriors. Uh, quick update here from BHS. The construction is going crazy around here and it's very exciting. And we want to share some clips with you today so that you can see all the progress that's going on by our fantastic construction workers, contractors, technicians, while you're away doing distance learning. Our contractors have been doing a fantastic job working quickly and carefully to um, complete as much as they can before you get back here in the building on campus. We have our music suite being uh, completed with our walls being set up. Our H-Link has had the lockers be removed, so the work can begin on the media center. That's what the H-Link will turn into. We have seen our courtyard uh, have a lot of work this past week or two because they are putting footings in so that they can begin work on our commons area. And we also have seen tremendous uh, work being done in our classrooms over in the north end where we will house mainly math classrooms on the second floor and on the main floor. When you come back to campus, you're gonna see a lot of exciting changes and we hope you enjoy the video clips that will give you just a little sneak preview of uh, the work being done and that will be completed. Hey Warriors, this is Activities Director Charlie Campbell. I want to give you a brief update on Warrior sports and activities here for the spring season. And there is no update. Uh, as you are aware, we are on a pause or suspension until uh, May 4th by the order of Governor Walls and the Minnesota State High School League. We hope to learn a little bit more here in the next week or two about what the future of our school year might look like. Uh, we are being hopeful that uh, we'll be able to provide some uh, sports and activities, uh, not only for the participants, but also for you that are fans. And uh, stay tuned, and we'll give you the latest uh, as it comes to us. Uh, be well. We sure miss you around Brainerd High School, and uh, do your part. Thanks, Mr. Campbell. Mr. Jensen teaches many things, decoy design, pottery, graphic design, and he also heads up our BHS yearbook crew. We caught up with him before school closed down for a quick Q&A. The high school I've been teaching here for, this is my third year, uh, I've been teaching at Central Lakes College for about seven years now. I've always said this has to be that relationship you make with the student, um, to see them get it, to see that gotcha moment, um, that's, that's the part that I've really come to love, is that connection with the students. Yeah. Uh, chemistry, I had a teacher named Mr. Monday. He had a, a lot of patience with me. Uh, I just could not get chemistry. It just was not my thing, so. Favorite dad joke, my daughters hate it. Uh, what do you do if you see a spaceman? What? You park the car, man. Probably to the 80s. That was my high school career or lifetime. Um, it was just a great time of life. Uh, I mean, it's kind of made a comeback even now too, you know, whether it's in song or dress or whatever, but I think the 80s are pretty cool. That's a good, good time. I've always thought about teaching. Uh, I was in advertising for about 25 years and it's that connection again to the students. Um, my previous career, I really didn't have a lot of uh, uh, make, making a difference, you know, um, and with teaching, you, you see that almost every day, the, the chance to make the difference, the chance to make that connection with students, that's what I really enjoy. The first one that comes to mind is when I'm in pottery, I really try to avoid the word moist, because 
I guess nobody likes that. So, and in that class, we have to say it quite a bit, so I'll try to figure out different words to say than that, so. I had a lot of fun talking with you, Mr. Jensen. Hey, do you ever get the feeling you're being followed? No, I'm not talking about on Instagram, just followed. Check out Cole Likeful and this week's TGIT, where things get a little nuts. Coconuts, that is. What the heck? The uh, must have left this here last night or something. Whatever. I'm hungry. Let me eat some brick. Snack time. What? Is this some sort of prank? Whatever, man. I've got to get out of here, man. I should do it. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. Please be sure to check out our BHS TV Productions YouTube channel for more videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Stay engaged and stay healthy, warriors. See you next time.